Hey guys, I'm coming back to you. So the day of the wedding, I kind of woke up extremely late. I was supposed to be up when my mom came in the house and I didn't get out the bed until literally 10 o'clock in the morning. I was supposed to be out the house and at the hair salon at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm sorry, at 9 o'clock in the morning when they first opened up. I didn't get there until almost 10.30 in the morning. But I got out of there by 12 o'clock because they didn't have a lot of people in there. Um, so, sorry, I don't have pictures of you guys to show you what my hair looked like after I rinsed out my um, overnight deep condition. It was in there about four six hours. Today was about maybe 5 o'clock, four, between 4.30 and 5 o'clock um, when I last spoke to you guys. But, like I said, when I woke up, I literally jumped up, didn't have time to rinse nothing out of my hair, and it was too funny. I was just like, oh, my goodness. So, I had to call my cousin. She was, like, totally cracking up at me because I was supposed to pick up her clothes for the wedding and everything else, and none of that happened. We actually got to the wedding maybe 30 minutes late, but this video is not about my day at the wedding. It's actually about my hair. So I'm going to just start talking. I had to get a trim. Um, you guys can't really see it because it still stops in the, about the same area. But one of my um, concerns that I did address to her, I told her, I said, you know, I noticed my hair is growing. Or hair in my mouth. Good Lord. Um, my hair was growing. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But like right here in this section of my hair, it's thicker. And it's longer. And like this section kind of like stops. Like it's still the same thickness maybe, but it's not the same length. Like all the way around. Like if I part my hair in the middle, which it's kind of sort of parted in the middle. Maybe I can get a little. I can't get by so much further in the middle. But if I kind of part it in the middle and comb it all forward, you would think that I would have the same amount of hair on both sides. Well, you can see this side is thicker. Like somewhere in between here, I lose length on this side but it's still the same shape but I lose the length and the thickness about right in here so I was like what can I do for that um she used to recommend me wrap my hair um the opposite direction every other day one day one way one day the other she said it's probably the way that I'm sleeping um my hair is kind of puffy it's now Saturday this is not even the day of the wedding anymore um when I talked to you guys it was, it was Thursday morning Thursday night going into Friday morning I had no time when I came back from getting my hair done get my nails done and everything else um, to even do a video or do a quick, no, I had time to do nothing. But this is what my hair is looking like. Um, as you see, I said, I did get a trim because I said I had some splitness. She just said, you know, she seen a couple, she just did a, a quick trim. And I'm looking at my ends now. They look pretty cool to me. My hair is a little puffy because I was sweating it out. I was getting my jig on the dance floor so like you guys can see. Hair is not bone straight, but my hair is straight and it's all, you know. Super light and fluffy. Um, that's because I don't have anything in my hair. She, I don't know what she used, but she used one heat protector. She used some spray that she blow dry my hair with. Um, and then she used a, like a heat protector serum. And she only, did, you know, moved it through my hair in a couple spaces. And then she iron set my hair. Like I said, I went to the hair cuttery. She used the, what do you call it? Oh my goodness. Okay, she did a Style Express, which you get a chemistry treatment. That's what I said. Just treat my hair, you know, for being chemically treated. Um, just use that and use something to soften up my hair. I thought my hair was kind of um, brittle, but it was moisturized, which is brittle. Um, so she did that, and she did an iron set to my hair, which is just pressing it. But one interesting thing that I found out is that I have long hair. I have long hair. I have long hair. I did not think that I had long hair. So I wanted to know for you guys, and if you go to the hair cutter, at what point do they charge you a long hair charge? And I'm going to post a picture of my receipt. But I thought long hair was like somewhere like, I don't know, in front of your boobs and down halfway down your back. You know, my hair is not halfway down my back. Um, it's not down to my boobs. You guys see how long my hair is. It's not long at all. So I shouldn't have a long hair charge. So I paid $10 for a long hair charge. I said, what is the long hair charge? You know, is that because your hair is longer than your stylist's hair? Is that when you get charged the long hair charge? Like, I was simply confused. Like, I never even noticed that once I, you know, I signed, swipe my card and everything else. And I leave out the store. And I'm in the car and I always read my receipts. And I read my receipts. I said, long hair charge? What the hell is a long hair charge? You know, because I don't have long hair. Like, any of you guys look and see. Like, this is where my hair stopped. It stopped right there. It ain't long. Long flowing is when the front of your hair stops like right here and, you know, you got mid back. And I'm talking about the typical, please do not think I'm racist, but the typical white or Puerto Rican girl that has naturally long hair that just doesn't stop growing. You know, that's considered long hair. When you get, what is it, uh, no, not brushed at length or whatever you guys want to call it. But you know what I'm talking about. You look at my hair, I do not have long hair whatsoever. Like, it, it's a little long in some spots.
stocks. And when I say a little, like, okay, my bang is longer than your average bang. Because bangs stop right here and not down here. That, but that's still not considered long because my hair is not, like, crazy thick. And I'm like, what in the world? So the next time I go back, I'm going to ask, what in the world is a long hair charge? And when do you define, you know, charging someone that? Because why am I being charged ten dollars for long hair? I don't have long hair. Like, if I did, like, you know, I'd be like, hey, guys, yeah, I just had to pay that long hair charge. And I start swinging my hair back and forth, but I don't have long hair. So it kind of, like, threw me for a loop. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys an update of what my hair looked like after the trim. She trimmed maybe about that much hair off, if it was that. Um, like, when I looked on the floor, it, it wasn't really long at all. Like, I, I'm going to say if I want to compare the length, it probably was from the top of this pen to the black part of the pen. Maybe that, and maybe a little bit longer in some of the spots, but... You guys look at any of my other videos. You can't tell that I had a trim. I know I said I wasn't going to trim my hair until uh, December, but I said I went there and I asked her if I was going to my hair and I just had some split ends. So, you know, they always say if you want if you want to let it grow, let it go. So, I let it go. All right, guys. I'll chat with you later. Um, sorry I don't have an update um, for you of what I look like at the wedding. I might find some pictures from the wedding when I get the pictures back of what my hair looked like, but I don't have any pictures for you, but this is what it looked like after the curl spell that I put in my hair. I just had her flat, um, flat iron set my hair, um, but this is what it looks like. It's real flowy. I still have it. You know, this is what it looked like. So, I'll holler at you guys later, and that's pretty much it. So, check out the pictures. Check out the rest of my videos, and please feel free to subscribe so you can keep up with my updates. All right? I'll talk with you guys later.